It's all about rope. Design versus performance in HMPE, high modulus polyethylene ropes. The effect of braiding angles. Designing a rope is a balancing act. Each application has its own requirements. Strength, splice efficiency, abrasion resistance. The design of the rope is critical to its performance. Ultimately, the engineer chooses to maximize those characteristics required by the application while eliminating potential performance problems. Breaking strength, weight, elongation, ease of handling, and abrasion resistance are all factors that play a critical role in the field performance and service life of rope. Based on the application, the engineer chooses the fibers to be included in the rope, the construction of the rope, twisted or braided, the number of strands, single braid or double braid, the level of twist in the fibers that make up the yarns, even the braid's cycle length. Each has an effect on the performance and service life of the rope. In this installment of It's All About Rope, we're going to look at just one characteristic, the braid cycle length, and measure its effect on the rope's performance. Braid cycle length is the length, as measured along the rope's axis, for a strand to make one complete revolution around the rope. From extensive testing, we know that the braid cycle length is critical to the service life of the rope. It has a significant effect on the strength, abrasion resistance, and the tension fatigue life of the finished rope. In this illustration, the blue rope at the top is Amsteel Blue, Samson's flagship rope. It is used as the baseline for measuring the braid lengths of the other two ropes. The red rope in the middle has a slightly longer braid length, 1.1 times the length of Amsteel Blue. The rope on the bottom has a very long braid cycle length, at 2.1 times that of Amsteel Blue. Fiber content is the same for all three samples. Each of these ropes will have qualitative differences that are determined by the braid cycle length. Shorter cycle lengths and more tightly twisted yarns create a firmer rope that is unlikely to snag on sharp objects. Longer cycle length results in a rope that is stronger initially, but snags easily and is prone to surface abrasion that eventually compromises strength. The engineer's job is to arrive at a cycle length that balances these characteristics to produce a rope that is strong, easily handled, and resists abrasion when put to work. Breaking length describes the efficiency of a rope. It is the calculated length of a rope whose weight is equal to its breaking strength. Theoretically, if suspended from one end, it is the maximum length of the rope that will support its own weight. Any longer and the rope will exceed its breaking strength and fail. This chart shows the differences in breaking lengths for the three ropes. Longer braid cycles result in a stronger rope. Increasing the angle of the braid makes them more efficient. The drawbacks to a longer cycle length are that the rope is easily snagged on objects, is subject to greater wear from surface abrasion, and cannot be as effectively spliced or terminated. This chart compares the strength, weight, and abrasion resistance of the three rope samples. The looser, longer cycle length rope is slightly stronger and weighs less than the other two samples, but it is significantly more prone to abrasion damage than the other two. Field observations of ropes in use confirm that the result of longer cycle lengths is increased snagging and surface wear. Since surface wear is the leading factor in strength decay of HMPE rope, service life is clearly compromised. Thousand cycle load level testing is used to determine the theoretical load at which a rope would fail at the 1,000th cycle. This is a standard measurement of the rope's resistance to tension fatigue. The testing shows that the longer cycle length rope has a much lower resistance to tension fatigue. Rope design is critical to service life. Not all ropes are created equal, nor do they perform the same. Longer braid cycle lengths reduce abrasion resistance, decrease tension fatigue life, can increase strength efficiency. Even though the rope with a longer braid cycle length may be stronger, in use it's more susceptible to damage from abrasion, snagging, and tension fatigue than ropes with shorter braid cycle lengths. It just won't last as long. So as we stated at the beginning, rope design is a balancing act. The engineer's choices of fiber, construction, twist level of the yarns, braid cycle length, coatings, all have an effect on the useful safe service life of the rope. 
It is these characteristics and how they are implemented in the finished rope that determine the applications for which the rope is best suited. When selecting a rope for any critical application, consult Samson's product line catalogs, brochures, and technical bulletins. You'll find full specifications and helpful information on specific applications for all Samson products. They're all available online at samsonrope.com. And if you need help determining the best product for your application, contact Samson's customer service department. They'll be happy to assist you.